So one of my favorite questions that I get asked by pretty much all of my friends and all of my clients, doesn't matter what time of the year it is, is cardio or strength training or resistance training better for fat loss and weight loss? And I feel like this has been a battle that's been waged without the health and fitness community for eons and eons now of people who are on the cardio side and people are on the resistance training and strength training side. I just wanna let you know that I'm just here to bring you the facts. Um, I'm not heavily weighted toward either side of this conversation. I love running. I think cardiovascular activity is awesome. I really love swimming and rowing too. I also really enjoy resistance training and weightlifting. You can call me a fanatic if you want to. Um, I just really like physical activity. So what's interesting about this breakdown, and I actually uh, did some more research on this recently between what's better for weight loss and fat loss, strength training or resistance training, or cardio. One of my favorite articles that I found on this is done by T Nation, and I'll add the uh, the link so that you guys can check out this article and the research behind it too. But strength training or resistance training is actually better for weight loss, and I think that you'll really appreciate the reason why. So in this article that I'm referring to, uh, which you should check out, uh, it was some university I think or research center that was doing the research on whether resistance training or cardiovascular training was better for weight loss. And they basically had two different groups of uh, obese individuals that they put on three month programs. And one of them was on a purely cardiovascular program. They could either walk, jog, run, and I think uh, cycling was actually included in an option for cardiovascular activity too. And then they had another group that was just doing a resistance training program. Uh, that was three days a week. I think they did the same amount of work roughly each week. So it was really interesting by the end of this study. So by the end of the three months, the cardiovascular group had lost 37 pounds, but 10 pounds of that weight loss was from muscle. And this group also suffered a metabolic drop. So a drop in their resting metabolism of roughly 150 to 200 calories. So that's 150 to 200 calories less a day that they could eat to maintain the lower weight that they've gotten to. So if you can take one thing away from this, not only did they lose functional lean muscle mass, uh, roughly between 25 and 30% of that weight lost, they also suffered a metabolic drop. So versus the results from the resistance training group, the resistance training group actually lost 32 pounds, so five pounds less, but they actually had a slight increase in their resting metabolism. Now, if I had to guess by the end of this process too, just by what I've seen from my clients and the runners I know and the lifters I know and the people who are the in-betweens, I'm sure that the body composition of the resistance training group was a lot better than that of the cardiovascular training group. Just because if you can check out one thing when it comes to lean muscle, and actually you can do this right now, if you just open up uh, another tab and look up the term skinny fat, and then also check out the body types. The differences between marathon runners and sprinters, you'll see a complete difference in body composition. And that's a little bit different of an example from lifting versus cardio. But that high intensity interval training or sprinting is actually more similar to the muscular development that you're gonna see when you're doing a resistance training program. And like I said, I'm not here to bash cardio and I'm not here to boost weightlifting in your mind at all. Like I said, I was just gonna present the facts on this and let you decide. Um, I will also say that cardiovascular exercise is obviously really important for people because you have a heart that pumps blood and oxygen to your body and keeps you alive. So you need to get some kind of cardiovascular exercise in your program. And you can do that by circuit training, jumping rope, swinging a kettlebell. You can run sprints. You can run if you want to. You can cycle. You can do all kinds of different cardiovascular activity, but purely from a body composition and weight loss perspective, I'm not sure that I would recommend that you use a purely cardiovascular training program to lose weight because I think it's vital that you retain lean functional muscle mass, especially if you want to lose weight and not be skinny fat. Most people want to lose weight and get that lean, muscular, toned, athletic look. And that's what you're going to get by doing resistance training or weight training to lose weight.